What is the United Kingdom? That is correct. The FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, were the first. The first of many who have followed the regulatory sandboxes. That is correct. Okay. Juan, off to a strong lead. Okay. We've got to talk about regulatory sandboxes. <laughs> um, let's keep going and we'll, let's keep going and we'll uh, talk about those at the next uh, break. Okay. Tokenize this for three. Tokenize this for three. This startup consortium, known for developing the Corda Protocol, recently began working with 11 major banks to test a system that we use the blockchain for trading. Juan. What is R3? What is R3? That is the correct answer. All right, one, one off to a strong, uh, strong lead here. Beginner's luck. That's it. Beginner's luck. You know, he spent the whole night watching the show. Uh, okay. ICO for three. ICO for three. Under certain SEC rules, you can only accept funds from up to 99 of these specially qualified backers. The bill to raise the number to 250 is now making its way through Congress. Susan. 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 What are accredited investors? Accredited investors, that is correct. And uh, Susan, can you just explain to the crowd what an accredited investor is? Um, it's an investor that's accredited. <laughs> All right, good answer. No, I love it. Good answer. So, a creative investor is a standard. Apparently, wealth and having money is the, the, the standard to get into uh, investing. We have to change that. Yes. Society should allow people right. with other forms of Yay. sophistication unrelated to money to invest. Good Let's job. change that. Yay! Love it. Nonetheless, under the laws right now. <laughs> I know. Nonetheless. You have to have a million dollars at least in assets. That's not fair. That is at $200,000 in annual income. Not fair. Like, it's $250,000. And you have to be able to verify that. So what happens if you have a lot of uh, cryptocurrency in your portfolio, and maybe, maybe it hasn't been fully uh, disclosed to anyone? How do you use that value to help establish that you're you know, wealthy enough that you should be able to play in that game? So you can go to a lawyer and the lawyer can verify your documents and provide that verification for you. And pay them a fee, by the way. Of course the lawyers can't pay them a fee. That would be an American otherwise. All right, so... Uh, we are out of time. We have to go to final jeopardy. We have to go to final... Uh, <clears throat> we do have to, no, we have time for a couple more questions okay. before final jeopardy. So, sorry, um, so I'm sorry. So you got uh, you have control of the board. All right. Um, Do have a question? Susan, please. Uh, Do you want to the back? Oh, it's a back. Okay. Well, time for about two more questions, and then we'll go to our final Jeopardy round. BBB for three. BBB for three. The start of the Hippocratic Oath for Physicians. A principle that restrained Congress during the birth of the internet, and for blockchain, the philosophy advocated by Chairman Giancarlo, my own boss of the CFTC. What is, uh, who's, who's, uh, what is do no harm? What do no harm? That is correct. All right. Next, next question. Um, oh, uh, ICO for five. ICO for five. All right. Wow, Whoa. this is a double jeopardy. <laughs> so you can bet up to, you want you at 25, you can bet up to 25. No, he doesn't write it down. Uh, you to 25. So tell us how much you're going to bet. I bet 10. You bet 10, all right. Conservative for a disruptor, he's very conservative. <laughs> all right, so for 10 ether, what is the... Uh... All right. So, should go next one, should uh, I'm still not playing. It's supposed to be an audio deal the double. Uh, but, um, which, what was the category again? ICO. Okay, well I know, let's see if we can get it to you, otherwise I happen to know what the... I think it's, so it's a... Yeah, okay. So, um, this international regulator, is from a land down under. We call it an ICO a Kickstarter. 
was once chair of IOSCO and is currently chairman of the Australian Securities Regulator. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it was a smart bet then. Juan only loses 10. Uh, the answer, uh, does any of the other uh, contestants want to buzz in? Okay, I guess that was a tough one. The answer is, who is Greg Medcraft? Oh, there he is. Greg. Oh, oh, too late. Too late now. <laughs> All right, so how much time do we have left? I'm just trying to see if we have uh, three, minutes. Three, three minutes. Okay, so we have time for a couple more questions. And uh, then we'll get to see the final check. All right, uh, so who, so I think Juan, you were the last uh, selected. So let's do uh, tokenize these for four. Tokenize this for four. This young programmer is considered to be the father of the theory. Uh, Jason, who was it? Uh, Juan. Juan. <laughs> Is yeah, that is that is correct. Boy, that one was that one was really easy. That was number four. All right, all right. Uh, Juan, you still have control of the board. Uh, so let's go. Code vocabulary for five. Code vocabulary for five. Okay, it's everybody's technical advisor. This encoding method is used to serialize objects and encode structure in Ethereum. So that was Carol. So did Carol and her technology partner have an answer for this? Please, please shout out. What is? What is what? JSON? What is JSON? No. Uh, no. What? Sorry. Sorry, but you, uh... Well, she asked if she could buzz in while he squeezed it, so... Fine, go ahead. Okay, so... What is the what is proof of stake? Um, no, that's, uh, that's not it either. One. All right. RLP. What is RLP? That is correct. All right. Thank you. That's a, that's a tough, tough one. Um, okay, and I think we have time for one last question, and then we'll go to a final, uh, final ICO for four, please. ICO for four. Boy, we're destroying furniture. We're so excited about the game. A way to show accountability for the blockchain token I am launching would be to use these kinds of instruments on a blockchain so the funds are released automatically upon completion of phases and milestones. Um, one. One. What is vesting? What is vesting? No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Anybody else? We'd use these instruments to release the funds upon hitting milestones. Okay. What are smart contracts? Right. Now it's time for the smart contracts. <laughs> uh, so I think we're out of uh, I think we're out of time, yeah, and yeah. we need to go to uh, Final Jeopardy. Uh, so Final Jeopardy, the way it's going to work, uh, we will recap the scores. The uh, contestants will uh, first write down the amount of their wager. Then when we reveal the answer, they will have 30 seconds to come up with a question. And for those of you uh, who happen to be able to find the Jeopardy music on their phone, please feel free to find it, just do it and do play it. it so we can really inspire them Let's to, just do it. to make it. Or we can uh, sing along. Okay, so... All right, so the current scores, and you can bet up to your total amount. Uh, Carol has four. Uh, minus, minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Still <laughs> well, it's still. It's video. We just know it's supposed to be. Everyone. Uh, Final Jeff. Susan has eight. Duh. All right. So you can bet up to uh, the high or up to your total score. So please write down your bets. And uh, make sure you know your bets. 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 All right, so please write down your wagers and don't show them to anybody. Those need to be done immediately. Um, you guys all written down your, uh, your bets. Okay, and uh, all right, so now we're gonna reveal the answer and I think Jason has the music ready. And you have 30 seconds to come up with the answer. All right. 
misconception is that Vitalik Buterin handpicked the name Ethereum from this game where the Ethereum were once a ruling class. In fact, he chose it for its reference to the hypothetical invisible medium that permeates the universe. What is ether? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. And how much did you how much did you bet? Five. Okay. All right. All right. Might, yeah, made sense to uh, you know bet all your stakes. There's a true true daily double, you know, some sort of complicated geometry. Okay, great. Now we come to Susan. Uh, Susan, what was your answer? No, no, no. What was your answer? Answer. What is gas? Hi, Mom. Someone had to write that. No, it's also not uh, gas. And what was the amount of your wager? No. One. Okay, very smart bet, actually. Very good strategy. So Susan has seven. And now we come to Juan. Juan, uh, Juan who's never played this. What is Monopoly? That is also not correct. And Juan, how much did you bet? Juan bet 10. I still win. Juan bet 10. So now his 20 goes to goes to 10. So as we look at the board, all right. So we have Juan, you know. So we have Carol minus four, Susan with seven, and Juan with 10. Uh, so uh, and let's see. Does anybody uh, does anybody know what the uh, answer is? Any from the audience? Where did Vitalik get the name Ethereum from? Got it. World of Warcraft, that is correct. So our winning contestant is Juan. Let's give a hand to all three of our contestants. Thank, thank you very much for uh, joining us for the first edition of uh, Ethereal Jeopardy. Uh, we may not have vocabulary the next time. Uh, and please, if you have questions about law and regulation, feel free to talk to our contestants as well as myself. And if you guys want to keep this conversation going, we have a volunteer back here, raise your hand. You can follow him, he's going to lead you guys uh, out to like this meditation area where you guys can kind of all mingle and chat and kind of talk a little bit more. So follow him, he'll leave here in a moment. 